Hello there, mortals. I am Jensen, and welcome to Penumbra Overture. Now, there is a. Oh. Uh, 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 so, there are things I need of you. Things you may not understand and may not wish to do. But please, do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother and the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then by the time you receive this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we will all perish. Okay, there's a reason I'm playing Penumbra Overture and this is why, Frictional Games. If that name sounds familiar, it is because it probably is. If you're around about, if you're a viewer on YouTube around about 2008 to 2013, then you would know this game company like the back of your hand. My God, it's loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. That's a bit better. Now, Frictional Games are a bit of a staple in the horror scene. Globally, simply because they made the Amnesia games. That's Amnesia The Dark Descent, which is enormous. Amnesia The Bunker, I think, was third. And there was also Amnesia Rebirth, which was kind of a reboot to the series. Now, Penumbra Overture is the first in a trilogy that Frictional Games released and is the first game that they ever published as a company. So, for the sake of knowing what all of the hullabaloo is about when they started, you know, try and see how they got to their heyday. I think it's probably important we take a look at this game quite closely. Oh, there's difficulties. We take a look at this game closely and we see if it still holds up in 2023. So we could play easy, uh, players who are bad at action games. We're not bad at action games. Um, normal, recommended, suits most players. <sighs> I mean, I've never played this game before, but why not just go hard? Oh. My story began in February, year 2000. This game also came out around about 2007 as well. On my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard of him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went, as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago and said so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. Great! My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. Okay, so we've got a premise. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. A location. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. And a player, me. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide. And within minutes, I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. I'm expecting this game to be very narrative heavy because pre 2010s games are very narrative heavy. Ooh. What is this? Like a ship? Some kind of. Sounds like a ship. Finally, we're almost docked! I'd better stow my gear! I might be far from home, but just Zara can still pick things up using left mouse! And I can take a closer look at things using right mouse! I think I just nailed that voice acting. Ooh, this is old school. There's a can of beans down here. Oh, I Ah! I threw it! I didn't inspect it, I threw the damn thing. That's a... that's a, that's a unique one. How do I... Whiskey. Empty! Shame! Yeah, those are 
pretty much the steps of drinking whiskey that I experienced as well. Uh, I kind of wanted to see what was up with those beans. Can we move things? We can. All right, I'm going to have to turn the sensitivity up a little bit. Let's see if we actually can do that. Mouse sense to, oh, this is yucky. This'll do. Maybe 1.4, that'll do the trick. Oh yeah, that's nice. So we've got ourselves a nice Morrowind start here. Uh, for some reason, I can't actually inspect these beans at all, which is a little bit of an upset. Okay, let's put that right there. That was an aggressive put down. Let's just gently put it down right next to this one. Damn these muscles! Damn these awesome muscles! Why am I so strong? Okay, what else? Uh, so we've got a couple of things here. It looks like there's a fuck it bag here, or a bug out bag, or I don't know what people actually call these things. Uh, there's a locked grate right here. Always travel with a padlock and a key, preferably. Mine's in the inventory. Tab. Right. Keep my old padlock. What, do we just like, how do we use this? Do we look at the item and then That is so weird. That is like a point and click adventure. Okay, we've got some flares. Now, I haven't actually played a lot of these frictional games, but I really want to. Ah, some extra batteries to power my flashlight. Great. Should come in handy if the torch runs out of batteries. I should be able to exit, sit through my inventory or with the shortcut key G. What, G for grenade? Yep, seems like it. Uh, what about this book? A good scientist always keeps a pen and paper handy, just in case. And there's a map here. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland. So I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Excellent. What? Well, I just hit, I hit my head on this lamp and it actually moved. That didn't feel good. Oh, I love these controls. The flashlight switch is on and off via the inventory tab, or hopefully with shortcut key F. F for flashlight. Yep, that does do the trick. Go! <laughs> Damn the tiny quarters! Go! <laughs> My head! What's in here? There's a bunch of photos on the wall. Playboy poster! It's nice some things don't change no matter how far you are from home. Is that a play- Why? She holds- She's holding a fish, isn't she? There's also two dudes holding a fish as well, that's wrong. Alright. Pretty odorous bed. Glad I'm getting out of here soon. They must eat, sleep, and well do everything else in this one room for weeks at a time. That is a wanking joke. I think. All right, we've got a chest here with some more piss. Nice, let's drink it. Oh, well, we could smash it against the wall. Fantastic. Hey, dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me alone with the kid. This is my best Greenland accent, by the way. I'm sorry if you're from Greenland. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you only still have one bed on board, taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying for you every night to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I've washed these overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing they've had a wish. Before I forget, the Enrixens in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any church. But I said they were mostly a new season. If you do happen upon any church, don't say anything. Store them well in the ice and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you get home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. I'm really sorry if anyone's from Greenland. Fisherman's wife love letter. Okay, that was added to our notes. Good to know. Ah, this is how we navigate. So, here, check this out. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Uh, this is not necessarily true, though, is it? Because we've got two beds right here. Which one's ours, I wonder? That was a wee bit jank. Okay, we've got some... Uh Appropriate lengths for fish before you have to throw them back in and they're considered illegal fishing. I actually know about that because New Zealand's very similar. How do I operate this door? Leads out to the deck, but I don't fancy braving that weather until I have to. Alright, well, do I just drink the piss or do I break this window here? Nope. 
The fog closed us in almost as soon as we left port. Haven't seen any landmarks for ages now. I don't know how they're managing to navigate. I'd be as good at lost at sea if I was on my own. Not a thought worth thinking. Yeah, I'll see. That's a grim thought, actually. Oh, always good to have a notebook in to jot down interesting information and reminders. P. Yep, there's the horn. So, what's P? Oh, I thought P was actually to P, but it's not. What was the other one? N for notes? To-do list. Okay. I think P is the to-do list, which is where... Ow! My head! Uh, how do we... How do we bed? How do we sleep? It's ya, boy! I'm not proud of that pun. I'm really, really not proud of that pun. Can we, like, drink the piss or something? Where's the whiskey gone? All I'm doing... Ow! My head! I'm just getting bruised all over my face. Ooh, what's under the pillow? Nothing! How cash money. How do we sleep? <laughs> oh, we don't sleep. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but then I lost feeling in my extremities soon after a new hypothermia was settling in. I started looking for shelter. So what's the deal? Are we on a boat or what? What's going on? So cold! I don't know where I am. Need shelter scene! I think that's gonna be the voice that I pick for this character. My entire head went numb long ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring. Something, something didn't catch the rest, unfortunately. Alright, let's jog. That'll uh, warm us up a little bit. We'll do a wee bit of a jog. Did you know? Blood actually warms you up because of friction inside of your your body. What in the hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. I've jotted down a note just in case. The, the dialogue seems to be going pretty quickly, doesn't it? How do we... Alright. Do I need, like, some kind of fire? Maybe? No. It's... No. To-do list. Can't get in. The ice is too thick. Yeah, I figured that one out pretty quickly. Uh, I think we need, like, a torch or something, right? Maybe we just chip away at it. Frozen solid must break ice. With what? Anything in my inventory? I do have this padlock. Uh, do I like throw this against it? What do I do with this? No, not quite right. That's weird as hell. What do I beat it with? My notebook? No. Okay, it's very clear that we are maybe freezing to death. Oh, we're slow as well. I think I may have picked the wrong difficulty. Death is the final unknown. Okay, uh, let's try gap it forward. My entire head went numb long ago. I can still hear the wind rowing past. Or is it some kind of animal in the distance? I don't know, hard to tell actually. Ah, rock! This'll do the trick! Okay, it's telling me how to interact with things now. So it seems like when you pick up heavy things, it actually is kind of slowing you down, which makes sense. In interact mode with R, I can swing the stone more accurately. Oh, whoa! Hey, nice! Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I press it again. Which way do I turn? Which way do I turn? What am I do I'm literally trying to move the mouse in any which way, but it's not... It's not taking. Am I gonna die out here simply because this wheel won't work? Okay, now it's kind of working. Do I... do I lift the latch? Yes! Okay, we've almost frozen to death, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but I suppose it is what it is. Alright, we've made it down this rickety ass ladder. Now, I've got it on good authority that this game is, uh, if you'll pardon my French. Shit scary. I'm kind of feeling it, Mr. Krabs. 
Jesus, my head! I can't believe I fell that far and survived! Although, looking around, maybe I didn't! What is this place?! Okay, so we're still kind of cold, freezing a little bit. Uh, if a flashlight. Bullets! Nice. Empty boxes of ammunition? I would suggest some kind of... The army shelter or something? A heavy looking wooden barrel. Could be anything inside of it. Yes, it could be, couldn't it? All right. So we've we've got out of the freezing cold. What's in here? Ah, flare, very nice. We'll take this, obviously. What's in here? The controls for opening stuff is really cool. Another flare right here. And there's a can of tuna. Uh, does it have an expiry date? 24 hour ration pack, passed its sell by date. Damn! So I don't think we're gonna find any survivors down here, sadly. Uh, we can throw things around though, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's make a ruckus. What's the harm? Oh, a hammer. Let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse. I can make a backswing by pulling the mouse right, then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling back, then thrusting the hammer forward like, a, like an epe produces a stabbing motion. It's a hammer. I reckon if I hold down right mouse after the backswing, I should still be able to look around. What does that even mean? It's stuck. There must be something in the way. Is it hammerable? Where's the hammer? Can I inventory slot? Oh, I can. Nice. Can I put my notebook? I can. Wow. All right. Flare in two. Glow stick is already bound to G. I'm just kind of freeing up inventory space, I suppose. Flashlight is F, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Alright, got my hammer. Oh, I can... This is weird as hell! This is such a... Is this how you... Is this combat? What a jank-ass combat system. I still have no idea what I'm looking at, by the way. Can I break these barrels? Maybe. Oh, I can. What's in them? There's a flare here. I'll take this flare, of course. A handy light source. I think I need an empty hand to actually pick things up. So, good to keep in mind. Let's break open all of these barrels, because there probably is going to be goodies in all of it. Maybe there's something around here I can break with a hammer. It's like a hidden panel or something? What is that? I have no idea. Ooh, there is actually something here. So if I put this away, I could probably drag this. Ah! I almost just killed myself. Whoa! Damn, that thing's big and heavy. Okay, good thing I can jump. There were more things over here, isn't there? Like, uh, ooh, it's lore. Emergency exit procedures. Obviously, they won't follow very well. Let's break this barrel. Dear God, my ears! I wonder if I can actually balance it a little bit better in the game itself. I cannot. Okay, good to know. Let's go back to the game. I will try and do it in my recording software then. Like this should be fine, right? You can you can you can tell that the game is is fine. I I hear it. Alright, do I need a hammer to Ooh, no. They won't pull off with my bare hands, but they will with a hammer! Smack this off! I didn't actually expect that to work, but I'm glad it did. Alright, what's in this creepy wee tunnel here? Why am I even in here? If it's full of expired food, why did I choose to go in this way? Ooh, diverging paths. Uh, we could try down here first. The other one might be kind of like a resource room. I have a sneaky suspicion. Oh, wow, this tunnel goes down deep! Oh, poos. Oh no, I can't go back up. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh no. How, how the hell did we end up back there? We didn't, we didn't really go up. All right, let's go in here. Let's see what's in here. Uh, interact with whatever this is. Looks like some kind of, kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. I know how to do it! Uh, put your dick in it, bud! Yeah, one, you get one hand down on the zipper. Zip! And now stick it in the hole! Psst. 
Okay, I got an electric shock from that glory hole. That's not that's not great. Let's smack this barrel around a bit. And this one too. Oh yeah! Thrust that hammer! That's really effective! Could be anything inside of it. I know, let's find out. <laughs> this is literally. This is how I used to build houses when I was a builder. Okay, it seems like the thrust for a hammer is actually not that effective, which is... Thrust it up! Thrust it up! Freunde? Okay, let's open this one with our, with our hand. Ow! I hit myself in the face. It's nice that it doesn't damage you when you hit yourself in the face. Oh, we can see in the dark. That's fantastic. What's this? A steel rod. Oh, I know exactly what we're going to do with that. We're going to put our dick in it! What's this? A couple of bookshelves. It's been like 50 years since anyone's been down there, apparently. That's good to know. Oh, I th think this is actually the room that we, um... We knocked down. Let's get our glow stick out, see how good this thing is. It's honestly not that bad, I'm not gonna lie. This thing's probably a little bit better than the torch. Okay, we can't go down that way. I would also suspect that this place is like an underground ship. And we're maybe on one of the one of the decks. Okay, let's take this rod, stick it in six first, six, 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 and we'll stick it in this hole right here. And now this thing goes up our butt. Just put put it right up our butt, see what happens. Come on, man, clench! Clench it! Clench the damn thing! Grip it with your with your cheeks! Okay, well, I actually have to use our hands, sadly. Uh, did that do it? No? Absolutely nothing? Oh, I'm in the way! That's probably why nothing's turning. Right, so if I do it this way... Is this... Oh, it's already open. Okay. Let's see what's down here. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote arctic wilderness, and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realised that our entire society is a network of safety nets. Emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers. Oh, that's a brave claim. Look, all there, if something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids. Knowing anyone, knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were too scared or too far away. Well, let's hope that our teachers are too far away, because if they'd followed us this far, it's going to be a real problem. I've jotted down a note, just in case. Let's read it. It's the fisherman's wife's love letter. That's not right. To-do list. The entrance to the cave is caved in. There must be another way out. There could be anything living down here. Heroic stuff for Hollywood actors and Jensen. And fairy tales. I'm not taking chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. Oh my god. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd best be staying low and out of sight until I know whether it's not a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've done it right because of the blue tint to my vision. That's purple. Man, a friction is everyone at Frictional Games colorblind? Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be hurt unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. Yeah, that's smart, actually. Let's, uh... Let's, let's get on that later. My best bet is to hide for a couple of seconds or so, perfectly still. That'll make me properly hidden. That's, there's no way in hell that's blue. This game is smoking crack. I also hope I can't read my, read my microphone. Ooh. This night vision's really cool. Let's see if there's anything down here. I uh, no, seems clear to me. All right, let's pick up a, a rock or something to defend ourselves with, even though we've got the hammer. If anything comes at us, I'm going to huck this rocket at so hard, uh, you'll think Dwayne Johnson just landed on you. All right, what is this? Map, maybe? Uh, workshop, storage, explosives, and my location as well. So apparently that's the exit, which doesn't fill me with glue. Oh, what's this? 
This place must be old if they were still using paraffin lamps. It looks like there's still some juice left. What do I need? Like a lighter or something? Maybe. Who knows? Okay, so we are here at the bottom of this. Li Let's actually use the glow stick. Right here. Red. Red circle. So if we go right, left, right, we end up at storage, which would probably be good for a little bit of resources. There's some explosives off in the distance, uh, but I don't think we can get to it just yet. There's an office to our left, left, right. Oh, that's handy. Let's go left, left, right. Ooh. Boxes. All right, let's get down low. And we'll walk on through slow. Hopefully we won't get ganked by anything hiding in the darkness just yet. We haven't seen a single monster yet, and there's rocks everywhere, so I'm feeling pretty safe. Even though this is the hardest difficulty. Well, thanks, game. <laughs> I can remember three directions. I know my memory is not amazing, but I can remember this much. Man, those sounds are incredibly loud. Uh, what the hell is that? Move chair! Jesus, man! What is this? It's blinding! An old man. Clutching something unseen. He is strange, yet he is no stranger. Never seen before. Still, I know. This man before me is Howard! I call him father! Oh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Yeah, I'll say my god! I'm having PTSD flashbacks from childhood. How relatable, eh? That's not worth a like and subscribe. I don't know what it is. Some batteries for our torch. So they were using paraffin lamps, which are those old oil lamps, right? The oil lamps that people carry around with the big swingy thing at the top. And they still have batteries around the place. This doesn't exactly make a lot of sense to me. There's a key and a note here. Take that key, obviously. Copenhagen Post, Monday, 17th of August, 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of a death mine. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sewn into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. The university, which has re recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern Lead Mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high at 46 depths per 100,000 populace compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed in many of the miners symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid, a PH4 formula recently discovered to have uh, hallucinogenic properties may be present in the rocks. I'm very sorry for stumbling my words. I have a little bit of a condition known as Dyslexia. Sorry, I had to think of how it was spelled because I forgot how to pronounce it. Few locals were conducive to interview, but those who agreed had sp to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits, known as the Turngay, live in the mountains. The university is awaiting the results of chemical testing. Studies continue. Ah, oh, yeah. I, I bet studies are continuing on the hallucinogenic chemicals. Game! You're not fooling anybody! I know they're doing the drugs! They're doing drugs. Right, so we've kept that. Excellent. What about in here? Can we search this? Not really. Can't really see in that. Nothing in there. What's in here? FA. A huge amount of FA. Okay, this office is kind of bust. I also, call me crazy, but I have a sneaky suspicion that these machines right here are either kind of like a, a schizophrenia cure or a save station. One of the two. I can't tell which yet. What's this? It's a, it's a picture of a British platoon. It must date, date back to World War II. I suppose this mine was converted into some kind of bunker. Well, that explains the batteries. Or does it? I don't think it does, actually. <clears throat> Typewriter. Typewriter dates back even further than the war. Made in Germany, 1923. Oh, that was their heyday. Or was it their lowest point? I can't remember. When did World War I start? I suppose we'll know later. What was that? Beef jerky! Hey, I love beef jerky. This stuff's delicious! I know it's probably not ethical or necessarily good for you in the long run, but man, you gotta live a little, right? You, you, can't, you can't live your entire life 
Oh, more beef jerky, nice. Can't live your entire life being afraid of things that other people will say will kill you. Like speeding cars, can't be too afraid of them. Sometimes they just need a hug. Uh, what else is there? Um, those electrical sockets and the walls, like you can, there's food in those. You can stick your fork in those. Also, don't stick your fork in those. Uh, it probably will kill you. Anyway, right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Penumbra Overture, the game that I am currently playing. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist for another spooker that I think you'd really enjoy. And just down here, there's going to be a little wing ding asking you to subscribe. If you do subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Your click actually does matter on my channel. And until the next episode, I will see you later. Goodbye!